I can't tell you how many nights like I went flew back on the team planes, like wanting to just break down crying. Haley Deegan had to make a dig at NASCAR one last time, dropping another bombshell on the racing series and its drivers, all whilst announcing her next move. NASCAR fans get ready because she did not hold back in her criticism. Deegan's debut in the Xfinity series did not go as planned, with no top 10 results. Rather of waiting for another opportunity in NASCAR, Deegan started thinking about her next step away from stock car racing. She soon began considering making the switch to open-wheel racing, attending the IndyCar race in Iowa. Fast forward to last Monday, when Deegan confirmed that she will compete in IndyCar NXT, the IndyCar Development Series, with HMD Motorsports in 2025. The 23-year-old spoke with Dirty Mo Media this week, explaining her choice to join IndyCar NXT. About two weeks after I stopped on the Xfinity side, I was really, like I didn't really linger very much, Deegan said. Like I was like, okay, what's next? What are we working towards next? Let's make our goals. What are we looking like budget-wise and what are we looking sponsor budget-wise? How are we looking for different options? Just kind of seeing and weighing out the pros and cons of everything. And that's when I was like, you know what? I feel like I'm decent friends with a few guys in the IndyCar scene and people I used to race in IndyCar. I kind of was just poking around, talking a little bit. A few people that like I grew up go-karting with and like just kind of asking questions and seeing it out. I was like, let's go to the IndyCar race at Iowa. Let's go check it out. Why not? Just kind of to see what it's all about. And when we started weighing out me as a driver, like my pros and cons and my best qualities in my driving are. Like, I like high grip stuff. I like places. Tracks here are wide open a lot. I love road courses. Besides this past year, some of my best runs have been on road courses and best overall. Best qualifying and all that. The IMS stuff on top of that. I did good on that side, so I was like, man, maybe we should really look at this avenue. Deegan showed potential as a rising star in Toyota's driver development program, making her Arca Menard Series debut in 2018. She switched to Ford before the 2020 season and finished third in the point standings that year. Three years of uneven performances in the Truck Series followed her remarkable 2020 season, propelling her to the Xfinity Series in 2024, driving the number 15 car for AM Racing. Haley Deegan's NASCAR Xfinity Series career then came to an abrupt conclusion when she and AM Racing parted ways in July. The 23-year-old didn't waste any time in turning the page, revealing that she will race in the Indy NXT Series in 2025, which is the Xfinity version of IndyCar. On Tuesday, the driver came on Kenny Wallace Conversation to discuss her NASCAR career, why it didn't work out, and what she's looking forward to next season. During the conversation, Deegan discussed fitness and how crucial it is in her current career, particularly when compared to her prior one. The fitness side of things is something that really attracted me to the IndyCar side, Deegan told show host Kenny Wallace. I love fitness. I work out every day. I love that side of things. And I think that's instilled from the moto world, the two-wheel side because they train every single day. Training is a huge part. I'd say it's 60% of their racing. And so I like that that's actually utilized where NASCAR is not. Like in NASCAR, you don't have to be in shape in any sort of form as much as people want to say, oh, it's hot, it's hot, you have air conditioning in a cool suit, calm down. Everyone is very dramatic in that sense on the NASCAR side, the driver explained. Deegan's numerous devoted followers will accompany her to Indy NXT in 2025. The type of outcomes she achieves remains unknown. The one guarantee is that she will not have to deal with the turmoil she witnessed in NASCAR, both on and off the track. Haley Deegan grew up in carts, so this is kind of a return to her origins. When Deegan left AM Racing earlier this season, it was evident she was seeking for other opportunities. Haley Deegan's family background includes racing. Her father Brian is a racing icon. Since 2020, the 23-year-old has raced in NASCAR's top three national series, beginning in the Truck Series and moving up to the Xfinity Series in 2024. On October 14th, she revealed that she will compete in the Indy NXT Series with HMD Motorsports in 2025. Deegan went on Kenny Wallace's YouTube channel on Tuesday for his Kenny Conversation, where they discussed a range of topics, including her boyfriend Chase Cabre and how his racing career never took off, prompting an unusual revelation from the driver. We were kind of doing a me and Chase, by we, I mean me and Chase. And we were kind of doing a compare and contrast. Like, why do I think I would be better suited on the open well side of things? Well, first of all, I feel like I'm, I used to be super aggressive in my racing, like back in the K&N days. And then I kind of 
shifted that a little bit. So you can't be as aggressive, I feel like. And once you start getting on mile and a half and stuff. He's one of the most talented drivers I've ever seen that never got an opportunity past Arca, Deegan stated in reference to Cabra. And that's how racing works. Racing is about money. That's how it is. As much as people don't want to acknowledge it or pretend it isn't true, you've got to go have money. For example, it may be sponsor money or family money. And as a result, he was unable to advance. Interestingly, it was not all Deegan had to say on the matter. She broached the subject a few minutes later when discussing products. And it's cool for me because when it comes to the merchandise side of things that I can have that family number, cause that's a huge point for me, she went on. I am a person who runs only on sponsor money. If my sponsor is cut, I'm done. Like that's the way it is. Sponsors are naturally drawn to her big social media following. Translation, don't anticipate Deegan to quit racing anytime soon. And presence at the Indy NXT race at Iowa Speedway earlier this season already raised some eyebrows. We now know that she will be driving the number 38 car for HMD Motorsports. Haley Deegan created her own post. She feels relieved to have this news revealed after keeping it hidden for so long. In 2025, she will partner up with Brian Aaron, Kyle Collette, Josh Pearson, and Tommy Smith at HMD. And especially in the truck series, like you cannot damage the body of those trucks. Like you are screwed if you get any damage on it, just the way um, they're so reliant on the downforce. It's been hard keeping this one a secret. So excited to announce that I'll be racing Indy NXT in 2025 with HMD Motorsports, Deegan posted. Deegan quit her Xfinity Series seat earlier this season after 17 races of dismal results. However, it is not as straightforward as it appears. The team's results since then have been less than inspirational. AM Racing is an unusual scenario. Yes, they have an affiliation with Stuart Haas Racing, but this does not imply that their cars perform similarly. During her run in the number 15 vehicle, Haley Deegan finished P12, which was a season best. She finished in the top 24 times. Since losing her ride, only Joey Logano has surpassed her P12 finish. He did it twice and is a two-time Cup Series winner. Lawless Allen finished in 13th place in Atlanta. However, Josh Berry, Gus Dean, Logan Bearden, and Dylan Lupton have not been able to beat Deegan's best or even second best finish. So yet, none of the other drivers have ranked this number 15 automobile in the top 20. Lupton is coming to the end of his season, so Haley Deegan is going on. AM Racing has undoubtedly moved on, and Harrison Burton will be behind the wheel in 2025. But will we witness a significant improvement in the performance of this team? It remains to be seen. So, what do you think? Have AM Racing decided too soon earlier this season? After all, only Joey Logano was able to beat the performances Haley Deegan delivered? So might they have regrets now that things have only gone worse since then? And will Harrison Burton really be the improvement AM Racing has been looking for? And what will Haley Deegan accomplish in IndyCar? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily NASCAR news and we'll see you in the next one.